Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. Today we're looking at a Diamondback AM2. New for 2019, Diamondback released this in May. It's a subcompact gun that kind of gives a full size feel, especially with this large magazine. It does come with two magazines. This is a 17 round mag and the one inserted with the flat base plate is a 12 round mag mag they priced it right the msrp 340 right around 230 240 will get you the am2 now the actual model number or the model is db am29 so it's diamondback am2 94 9 millimeter and here is the 12 round magazine both with orange followers okay comes with both and this one allows three finger contact two and a half fingers but it, it feels good and one of the things that diamondback they they did a great job with packing in 12 rounds into that thin grip look at how thin that is of course it has the diamondback logo on there that looks pretty cool but i want to give a comparison because the fns 9c packs in 12 rounds with its current mag in there and it's about twice maybe not twice but it's much wider with the grip and then here's what we're looking at with the slide length but the diamondback actually measures up well with the taurus g2c we're going to check that out but check out the grip that's a, a a nice grip it's rather aggressive but not overly aggressive and it's it's smooth on the side so it shouldn't rub up against the skin when carrying inside the waistband and i already mentioned the the contact is nice now the mag release sits flush with the frame like you really can't even see it until I put the light on, on it. So you find it with the thumb there, and it's got a decent deployment. And then here's the 17-round mag. Good for an additional uh, large cap mag for the range or throw it in the pocket for a spare mag. But here you're looking at a full-size feel with a 3.5-inch barrel handgun. So I, I like that. You know, you know, I mentioned the FNS 9C. They offer a 17-round mag as well I, I think diamondback was generous with that considering the price of the gun does have a pick rail there front serrations black nitride top of the slide which i think looks cool and then they added that same black nitrate nitride between the serrations which is a little unique and of course it says you know am2 right there at the logo and also a serialized chassis which means this gun is modular and diamondback is expected to come out with different colors of the frames that you could switch out if that's your choice but it it does have a serialized chassis and that's what we're looking at from this side it does have a witness hole right there for the loaded round also three dot sights it does have the orange front dot and then the two rear dots and they are glock compatible so you can throw some night sights on there for you know your glock 43 Put it right on here and you're good to go also a striker fire indicator and we'll show clear here and then that is a, a little button there it's the same color as the uh, slide back plate but then it goes away once the gun has no longer been charged overall not bad i took it to the range already and i enjoyed it i, I i've got a range view forthcoming pretty much completed uh, but i have to say i i enjoyed it it didn't take long at all before I was able to figure out where the center fire, or where it impacted, I should say. And um, I, I, felt, I felt totally fine with this AM2. The trigger does have a trigger bar safety in there. The, the sight says between five and six pounds. I'm actually measuring it close to seven pounds, but it's not a bad trigger pull, all right? Right around seven pounds, a little heavier than what the sight says, at least that's what I'm measuring. And there's your reset right there. So about halfway to full position, right there is the reset. There is the take up, you hit that wall, and right there. It does have a serrated trigger guard right there. A Little bit of an undercut. Overall, nice feel to it. I mentioned the Taurus G2C. I think these two measure up really well. Let me go ahead and put this mag in the AM2. And both are, are priced right around the same and we can see that the slide length is identical and also the grip length and width is pretty darn close for two handguns from respected makers that can pack 12 rounds into the magazine so i think this would make an outstanding comparison 
you can look forward to that in the future. We'll take a quick look at this. Breaks down just like a Glock. And there's your frame. Can't imagine the trigger component group would be very difficult to take out. And there you have your captured recoil spring and your three and a half inch barrel. You can see it's a little dirty. It was shot. And that's a steel uh, recoil, or I'm sorry, a uh, guide rod. And those are steel sights too. I don't think I mentioned that, but those are steel sights. So they did not go cheap with the AM2. Let's take a look at the weight here. One pound, five and a quarter ounces. And we move that to just ounces, 21 and a quarter. Just to get a comparison, 21 and a quarter with the Diamondback AM2, 21 and 3 eighths. So essentially the same weight as the Taurus G2C. Here we have 12 rounds loaded up, target loads in the AM2. And it's weighing in at 26 and a quarter ounces. Throw your carry around in there. 26 and three quarters ounces loaded with 13 rounds. So there it is, guys. The Diamondback AM2. Already took it to the range. Had a good time with it. So you can look forward to a range review. Already completed. Along with a comparison with the Taurus G2C. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate thumbs up button. Thanks for watching and you guys be safe.